Hey, Kenny. Yeah, hi. Hey, Junior. Hey, Paul. And there's the, you know. Hey, R. Yeah. Do me a favor. What? Tell me one of them bedtime stories. Oh, you always want to hear a bedtime story. Takes me back to my childhood. Tell you about the key little threads. Once upon a time, there was key little threads. Well, actually, there was more than that. There was Pom and Egg and Papa Fig. And that made all together five little figs. One day, the first of the key little threads was going down the road, and he saw a man widen the ragged. And he said, hey, mister, would you sell me that stoda licks? He said, I'm going to heal me about, and I'm going to build me a hick stouse. So he built him a stouse out of hicks. And along came the big wet book. He said, hey, piddle egg, let me in. Piddle egg says, not to the chair of my henny hen hen. He said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll hold your blouse down. So he huffed and he puffed and he hold his blouse down and he ate up the piddle egg. Then a second of the pea little tricks, he was going down the road and he saw another man wagging a ra ragging a wagon. And he said, hey, mister, would you sell me that stroll to law? He said, I'm going to heal me a bouse, but I'm going to build me a haul strauss. So he built him a strauss out of haul. And along came the big wad buff. He said, hey, piddle egg, let me in. Piddle egg says, not with the chair of my henny hand in. He said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll tear your blouse or hold your blouse down. So he huffed and he puffed and he hold his blouse down and he ate up the piddle egg. Then the third of the piddle little thrigs, he was a little sharper than the other two. He went off down the road and he saw another man widen a racket. He said, hey, mister, would you sell me that broad of licks? He said, I'm going to heal me a bouse, but I'm going to build me a hick brouse. So he built him a brouse out of hicks. And along came the big white bull. He said, hey, piddle egg, let me in. Piddle egg says, not to the chin of my hurry, hurry, hurry. He said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll hire your blokes now. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he puffed and he couldn't hold his blouse down. So finally he gave up. He stuck his big old head up to the window. He said, all right, Piddle egg. He said, you're absolutely root. He said, I can't hold your blouse down. But he said to himself, said, I'll climb up on the roof and I'll chide down the slender. So he climbed up on the roof and he chid down the slender. In the meantime, the third of the pea little threes, he knew what was going on. So he ran in the kitchen, got him a great big pot of boiling water hotter, and he set it over the fireplace. And when that big wet wolf hit that water, he said, ouch. He said, this is extremely painful to a wolf, Rudius Maximum. And then he ran in the kitchen, got him a real narp shive, and cut this big wet wolf open, and got his brew little tethers out. And they all three danced and sang and lived heavily after happiness. <laughs> <laughs>